In the previous video, we created app database using floor package. Then we define the article DAO class and the methods we will need. In this video, we are going to use these methods and implement the repository and use cases. The first thing we need to do is to add the database methods in the article repository class inside domain layer, and then implement them in the data layer. Therefore, we open the article repository file in the domain layer. As you know, we have three methods in article DAO. Get articles, save article, and delete article. So, we add the methods like this. The reason for the error in the article repository implementation class is that we have to implement these three new methods that we added. To implement, the first thing we have to do is to define an instance of the app database class that the class constructor accepts. Now using this we can access the article DAO and use its methods in the implementation. For example, in the get saved articles method, we can use the get articles method in article DAO and return the list of articles. Just note that we should not use entity in data layer and we should change this to model. We do the same in remove article and return the delete article using app database. And finally in the save article method, we call the insert article method like this. The reason for these errors is that the insert and delete methods in the database accept the article model, but what we send is the article entity. To solve this problem, we define a from entity method in the model, which takes the entity and converts it to a model. And now we use this method. The last step is to define the use cases of the database. The first use case we want to define is get saved article, so we will create a file called get saved article use case. Now let's do the same thing here exactly like the previous use case that we used to fetch news, so I will copy the codes of that use case and paste it here. Now here, first I change the name of the class to get saved article use case, then I change the return value from data state to a list of article entity, I do exactly the same thing in the call method. And finally, instead of get article, we call the get saved article method. We have to do these things for two other methods, save article and remove article. First we create a new file called save article use case, then I copy the get saved article use case codes and paste it here. Now first I change the name of the class to save article use case. When we want to save the article we don't return anything, so here I put void instead of article entity in data. And because we have to get an article and save it, I set article entity in the parameter. I also apply these changes in the call method. And finally, I call the save article method. For the remove article method, we have to do exactly the same thing, only we have to use remove instead of save, so I do it. We are almost done with the database and finally we have to go to the injection container. First let's fix this error. This error is related to the fact that we set the app database in the article repository implementation constructor, and now we have to pass here, and it is enough to pass a cell. The last thing we need to do is to register the three cases we created like this. In the next video, which is the last part, we will complete the presentation and implement the saving and deletion of news. So stay with me, and make sure to hit the subscribe button to get next video.